Hello everyone, my name is Satya and in this video we are going to design a constant current charger for our battery. So first we need to understand the problem statement. Let's suppose there is a battery. And this battery is getting charged with a DC source. Alright, so we need another block called power GUI. So here's the basic arrangement and let's change the voltage of battery as 50. Let's suppose the capacity of the battery is 50 AH and initially it is 50% charged. Let's change the response time to 1 second. Alright, and this voltage source is 100 volt. This voltage source should charge the battery and we should be able to see a negative charging current. As you can see here, the battery is charged from 50% to almost 62% in 10 seconds and you can see the charging current initially was somewhere minus 4502 then settled around 2000 amperes. Now we can understand like uh, 2000 amperes as a charging current is very dangerous for any uh, electrical circuit all right so we need to make an arrangement we need to make an electronic circuit where we are able to control the charging current for the battery okay that is the problem statement okay so for this uh, let's suppose we have a ideal switch through this switch we will be uh, connecting or disconnecting the uh, this DC voltage source now let's suppose there is a load for the load we will use a RLC branch and we will use only a resistive okay. so this should get supply from this battery okay and ideal switch this connection will be something somewhat like this okay now we need to introduce two mosfets to introduce the mosfet we need to delete these connections and we need to insert these mosfets somewhere here okay we will make connection like this and we need another branch RLC branch here and we will take a RL All right. now this load connection will be just a second here yeah. so we need to make connections and we need to remove these connections as well and we will provide a connection like this another connection like this and this load then connect here now since it's a constant current we need to provide an error and that can be introduced with a block called sum let's take the negative sign here all right we will provide the current feedback to a PID controller. It's a basic PID controller. No need to change any value as of now. Then this PID, the output of the PID will fed will be fed to a PWM. Make sure that it's a DC DC type PWM. Let's connect this. 
and out of this uh, we will have let's uh, make a go to circuit this tag value will uh, control the gate pulse for these two MOSFETs okay and we need to have a not gate this gate pulse will come to this circuit here okay and let's suppose we want to limit the current to 10 ampere so we need to provide a value of negative 10 to the error signal here okay let's change the value of this as uh, let's suppose it's uh, switching frequency is uh, 100,000 and the sample time is 1 e minus 4 or let's say minus 5 all right then we will change the mode of power gui to discrete mode okay and let's take this once again check the value here all right then uh, i think the circuit is ready we can simulate the circuit now uh, before do the simulation let's have some displays so we can see the current value during the simulation we can we will be able to see the value of current if it is positive then the battery is discharging if it is negative the battery is charging and similarly we can see the gate pulse here as well as for this other gate pulse okay now uh, the negative terminal of the battery is not connected yet we have to connect this negative terminal as well here okay to make it a bit cleaner let's do this all right I think everything is set and just last thing we need to give uh, we should be able to change the state of this switch with the help of a toggle switch All right. okay so the complete the circuit is complete now let's start the simulation and we will do the simulation for infinite time continuous simulation and initially the switch is on that means this dc voltage source is charging the battery and we should be able to see a negative current as you can see here the current is negative okay now i'm going to uh, switch off this battery in that case this uh, battery will supply power to this load and we should be able to see a positive current as you can see here the current is positive again i'm going to switch on the battery and you can see here the current is minus 41 it will take some time like four to five seconds to reach the set point you can see here it is decreasing the value of current is decreasing and it should hit uh, 10 negative 10 yeah almost there so you can see uh, now we are able to control the charging current you can change the value of this minus 10 to minus 20 as well if you feel if you feel the, uh, the electrical circuit can take minus 20 amperes of current charging current it can handle then you can keep it at minus 20 as you can see here now the current is limited at 20 amperes let's disconnect the battery now this battery is supplying power to the load hence the current is positive again switching on the battery charging circuit now the current is in negative direction and very soon it will reach to minus 20 that is the set point
now the charging current is uh, within the limit which we have set minus 20 as of now it is 20 21 somewhere around that you can see uh, the state of these switches also going on and off all right let's stop the simulation and see the results on the graph okay uh, let's see from the soc initially the battery was charging then discharging then again charging okay similarly we can see initially the current was in uh, negative direction that means the battery is charging then again current was in positive direction that means the battery is discharging that is uh, battery is powering supply to the load then again it went to minus 40 it remains there for around three seconds then again it started track back to our set point that is minus 20 okay and you can also see the voltage profile in the next video i'll show you how you can control the voltage across the terminal of the battery so that you don't get uh, the battery cells don't get damaged all right so that was the constant current method thanks a lot for watching the video please do subscribe my channel i'll see you in the next video